Welcome back to Informed Sources. We're now less than two weeks away from the filing deadline for the upcoming Memphis City election, and plenty of people are throwing their hat into the ring for the mayor's office. As of yesterday, 18 people have pulled petitions, including Shelby County Sheriff Lord Bonner, former Judge Joe Brown, Tennessee House Minority Leader Karen Camper. Other candidates include longtime City Councilman Frank Colvert, uh, Colvett, that is, and Dr. George Flynn. Former Memphis Mayor Willie Harrington. Memphis Shelby County School Board member Michelle McKissick, NAACP president and former county commissioner Van Turner, and downtown Memphis Commission president and CEO Paul Young. Boy, that is a long <laughs> list. 18 <laughs> names. Um, how do you think the race is shaping up at this point, Lexi? Uh, I think right now we're just, uh, it, it's anybody's game. <laughs> it's just, I think it's hard. It's hard to predict. I think they do have some front runners, but yesterday, COVID said he's running number two. Now, that was really surprising for me. I hadn't seen any polls, but you know how polls are. You can make them say what you want. But, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but, and I, 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 you know, and so that was just really a, a, a surprise for me, but it is right now. I think we just got a ways to go. Before I'm going to say what she can't say because she's chair. Of the, she's currently right. the chair of the party. Right. She's got a lot of friends, a lot of Democrats in this race. There's only really a couple of Republicans. Right. He, here's my gut. I, I think um, this is wide open. I don't anticipate anyone getting anywhere near a majority. And we're still a few months out. Anything can change. Politics mm -hmm. is full of surprises. But my gut is that that you have maybe a handful of candidates that are front runners, and you can see some of this in the money they've raised. You mm -hmm. may get to this in a moment, but you, you have Paul Young, Van Turner. And the sheriff Floyd Bonner, and then then you also have I think some dark horses Frank Colvett and and former mayor uh, Mayor Harrington. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? Someone could conceivably win with 20, 25 percent of the mm -hmm. vote. And um, I, I saw the poll that you mentioned that Frank put out every. I mean, who knows? You, you think there this may be a, be a really new poll? That's right. It, it, I think it just came out. Like, yeah, maybe last yesterday. night. Yeah, it did. And and you know, you, you think well, Frank is is a Republican. This is a Democratic city. It's a Democratic town. But you know, maybe twenty five percent of of Memphians are Republicans, mm -hmm. and and there is a path there for him. It's going to be very very interesting to see. A lot of money to be spent. A lot of ads to be run. But we're talking about the city. That's right. That's and right. And the population of non-minorities is 25 percent yeah. so it's probably not that big a number maybe it's maybe it's not that big maybe 20 percent <laughs> maybe i'm being a little bit too hopeful or ambitious okay. about the number of republicans but, still left in the city but uh, but 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 actually um i i thought we had to have a 51 percent i think um with with some of the council districts with the single member districts you there are runoffs but for the mayor it's, there's no single districts only uh -huh. um so. and i think for the for the uh, super districts too but you're i mean i think you you said it well at the very beginning, which is, it's, it really could be anybody. Right. And, and we don't know the issues well, that are well, going to come to the Well, let me ask you this. Um, and at this point, because only a few people have name recognition uh, with, you know, on a widespread base. You're talking about the former mayor, um, and Mayor Harrington, and, and, and Floyd Bonner, who is the current sheriff. But the rest may have some trouble uh, in letting the voters know who they are. So is it going to be so goes fundraising, so goes the election? Paul Young out front with uh, nearly $600,000 he has raised. Mm -hmm. uh, the sheriff right behind him. Uh, Van Turner picked up some um, major contributions in this last quarter. Um, I think um, just, what, around $157,000 yes, $157, mm -hmm. in this last quarter. So he's picking up speed in the yeah, fundraising. He was second in fundraising for this right. quarter. Right. So, so how much of a, of a, I guess, how much is it going to be of a, the campaign contributions? How much is that going to count? And who gets out front? And who leads the way? Now, I think it's on how they use the money. We we don't know how that's going to shake out. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think it will come down to the money because we also have J W Gibson in there. And, mm -hmm. You know, so I don't I don't think it's going to come back to the money. I think it's going to be hard work. And like you said, if you didn't start two years ago, your name recognition might not make it into the no you know rural areas. So you really need to or smaller areas. I think you really need to have been out there working for a while. And I think uh, there are some of the ones that are out front now, I think they're there because they they work with hard. But there are a lot of different issues that are affecting each of the campaigns. We 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 overcame the resident issue mm -hmm. and I think there's some party dis discrepancies going on trying to get that resolved. So it's kinda like who do you believe? Who do you want to support? Yeah. And it's just, it's, you got a really 
good variation of people that are in there representing all different ones. I'm really surprised that Harrington, now Harrington was number one in COVID's poll. So that was kind of a And surprise. he was number one in the Stand for Children right. uh, yeah. poll. Yeah. So, so, so uh, it can... Well, he's got the name recognition, does, you know, does. being mayor yeah. as long as he was. And we've got two weeks almost before the filing deadline. So who knows? Who else will jump in? Well, we're going to do a straw poll, and it's going to be really interesting. We're doing it, and it's, uh, I, I can say this. We're doing, a, a, let's call it a, a blue tea party, mm -hmm. and it's going to be like a derby, and we're going to have leaderboards up. And the horses are going to be the candidates, and as they, you know, purchase their straw ballot, poll ballots, they'll update it every 15 minutes. I'm just really You have excited. to let us know how that okay. goes. Yeah, yeah I will. I will. Okay. I kind of want to go. Do we get invited? <laughs> I don't know if you have to be a member of the party. Absolutely. Well, next, we'll have some final thoughts. Stay with us.